What's up beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about age 33. Now, if you have watched my video I posted way back in, I think it was December, in which I was making my vision board for 2024, my digital vision board. One of the goals, one of my goals or things I would like to do is go to a Taylor Swift concert because I missed it last year. Things are changing rapidly. <laughs> Beyonce just dropped an album, so she will be probably going on tour soon. And I wouldn't want to miss this one. Also, at the time I filmed this, the album hadn't dropped yet, just the two singles, 16 Carriages and Texas Hold'em. We'll talk about that in another video. But one of the things I put on my vision board, please go check that video out, was to go to a Taylor Swift concert because she's touring this year. Her wildly successful Eras tour has extended into this year. While I was talking about her, I had to also talk about Beyonce. And I made a connection between her skyrocketing to mega stardom. I said she was always like a superstar, but this year made her like a household name and Beyonce as well. But I talked about something that I saw San Guru talk about the age 33 and 46 for females and he had said something about like if all the elements are in place and you've done everything you were supposed to do age 33 you will catapult so like with taylor swift she catapulted into mega stardom if you have like a business maybe your business would do much better at age 33 whatever lane you're in is going to get better if you had all the tools in place but if you didn't have all the tools in place you will crash as a woman, if you miss that at 33, it's not gonna happen again for you until like 46. Beyonce, she's 42, but Tanguri had mentioned the age 46 for women specifically. I don't want to go into like all these conspiracy theories and gossip about like how Beyonce is not really 42 or something like that. But if indeed her age is not 42, all of this will make sense because I've seen a few videos saying that she's not really 42, she's a bit older. Now Google tells us Beyonce is 42 years old and was born in 1981. A lot of my research is spanning over the past decade or so, so we have some like, you know, confusion when it comes to how old she is when these articles were written, but 1981 is the year Beyonce claims as her birth year. Yet the Texas Department of Health had some documentation that said she was born in 1974. That would be a seven year difference. Now, Texas authorities tell TMZ that they cannot confirm that document, but they cannot deny it either. Because TMZ picked up the story and it became news, the Department of Health had to put out a statement and they said, no, Beyonce was not born in 1974, though there are some conspiracies that her people got into contact with those people and, you know, they could have paid off for that statement. That's neither here nor there. That's not what this video is about, but it'll make sense. I'll post the video here because he says it more cohesively than what I just said. This is why we set up sadhana for below 33 years of age, so that they prepare, they organize their internal geometry, they organize their energies, they conserve themselves in such a way, when life wants to burst forth, you have the necessary fuel to do it. If you miss this, thirty-three years of age, those of you who are looking depressed, Sadhguru, I'm thirty-five, what to do? Well, if you're uh, a male person, forty-two is another time when there is another upsurge, not at the same level as thirty-three, but definitely substantial upsurge where one can again burst forth. If you're a female, it may be forty-six for you, but because if you do not handle your biology well, forty-six may become more troublesome than possibilities. If she was born in 1974, it will make her forty-nine, which throws off this whole theory. I also wanted to talk about my experience at 33. It really was transformative. I turned 33 in October of 2020. And in 2020, we all know the world was shut down. I was furloughed from my job at Disney. I worked at Disney. I was furloughed from my job. So I was sitting at home for like three months, but I did get unemployment, which really helped. And the unemployment was more than I got paid while working at Disney. And that's real talk. I mean, what's the motivation to go back to work if you're getting paid more to sit at home? Anyway, so it was during this, sitting at home that I decided actually I don't want to do Disney anymore I mean I already felt that back in 2019 the year prior but I solidified my stance on like quitting Disney in 2020 and I did so the following year in 2021 so I didn't renew my lease I moved out of my apartment April 30th 
2021 was my last day in my apartment. I moved out, I was staying in an Airbnb for two weeks until so my friend was so kind to have me come stay with her. I talk about all of this in one of my videos about quitting Disney, so do check it out. It's in great detail. These are the things that happened when I was 33. I moved out of my apartment that I had for eight years. So I had been in that apartment since 2013 in Florida. And then I quit my job. I had been with Disney for about seven, eight years. So that was pretty big. Disney was a huge part of my young adult life. So it was very difficult quitting, but I, I knew I couldn't see myself there long term. So that happened. I quit and then I moved back home to Pennsylvania from Florida. I used to swear up and down that I was not moving back to Pennsylvania because I don't like cold weather. I'm from the tropics but I had to and I got a new job that same year which is my current job too many changes at once gave me whiplash yeah it definitely was transformative not in the way that I thought it would be but it was and it's actually for the better I remember my brother telling me that I had to sometimes destroy everything to start over and he was right Mount Everest ain't got shit on me Mount Everest ain't got shit on me Cause I'm on top of the bar I'm on top of the bar Yeah March the by Ain't got shit on me Touch the sky But you ain't got